Hello YouTube and welcome to another Windows tutorial. So today I'm going to show you some useful keyboard shortcut for the Windows command prompt. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know, in order to uh, reach the command prompt in Windows, you have actually a lot of possibilities. You can just go to your uh, status bar here and in the search type CMT, which stands for the command prompt. Uh, here we go. Now you can launch the command prompt. Okay, as you can see here. Or you can just use the shortcut Windows key plus the R key. And here with the run dialog box, you can just type open CMT and you just hit OK. So you can use whatever method you want. So here I'm in my window is command prompt. So of course you can execute commands here in this uh, window. So for example, you can just use the dire command in order to list all the files and the directories in the current directory. You can use, for example, the IP config command to show you your IP configuration. Or you can just hit, uh, for example, ping the Google DNS server in order to see if you are connected to any host or something like that. So here I don't have internet, so of course I will not have a ping response. You can also type the time command in order to see the time. Okay. So you just hit enter in order to exit. You can also type the ver, which stands for version in order to see what uh, Microsoft version of Windows that you have. So all these commands actually are executed in the Windows command prompt. So now I'm going to show you some useful shortcut, keyboard shortcut that you can use whenever you are working on this Windows command prompt. So as you may know, you can use the up and down keys in your keyboard in order to go to your previous commands. So here I'm using my up keyboard key and I see all my previous commands. Okay. You can also use F3 keyboard key in order to execute the last command. So if I hit F3 now, so this is the last, last command I have executed in my Windows command prompt. I can also use the F7 key. So if I, I, if I hit the F7 key, here you can see that I have a list of all commands that I have executed. So I can reach whatever command I want using the up and down keys in my keyboard. Okay. So if I want to get rid of it, I, all I have to do is to hit the escape key. You can also hit the F9 key. So here it will ask you for the number of command that you want to execute. So if you remember, if I execute the F7 key, I have here some numbers from 0 to 4. So each command has a number. So if I want to execute, for example, uh, the command number 2, which is a ping, all I have to do is to type F9 in my keyboard and type 2 for the command ping. And I hit enter. And here we go. This is the second command that I have executed actually in my Windows command prompt. And of course, if you want to erase the current line in your, in your Windows command prompt, all you have to do is to hit the escape key. Okay. And if you want to erase the history, so if I hit F F7 key, you see that I have here a list of all the commands that I have executed. If I want to erase this list, all I have to do is to hit the command Alt plus the F7. So if I hit Alt plus the F7, so in the, if I hit F7, now I don't have any history. Okay. 
And of course, there are some really useful commands or shortcuts. For example, if you type, if I want to reach my desktop, so if I change directory with CD command, so instead of typing the desktop, I just type the first letter and the tab key. So when I tap the type key, it will auto fills the file or directory name. Okay, so here we go. I type it the type key and I get the full folder name in my actually directory which is desktop okay so these are all with some very useful shortcut that you can use in your daily basic when you are working with common prompt as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye